So not many people know about the Bach cello suites 7 through 12, and that's because they're very new and Bach didn't write them. My name is Jessica Karatkin, and I'm a cellist and composer. J.S. Bach's music has survived for centuries, and we hear little segments come up in all kinds of music, whether that's rap or metal or rock or pop music. He survived outside of the classical music scene. And I think a lot of classical musicians regard Bach as this untouchable genius. Some people dedicate their entire lives to studying Bach, familiarizing themselves with the instruments that he would have known. And because of all of this research that's done and all of the different opinions out there, it's basically impossible to play a single note without somebody thinking you've done it wrong. Bach used this method of composition called the parody process. The parody process is Bach's compositional method of borrowing pieces that he wrote that he liked or that his friends liked and putting it into a new context. Maybe that means writing for different instruments or writing for a different occasion. This was not an unfamiliar technique to his contemporaries. A lot of Baroque composers used the parody process. And a lot of the time they did this because they were supposed to produce a large amount of music in a very short amount of time. But Bach was pretty unique in that sometimes he did that, but he also oftentimes reworked something so much that the material he borrowed is barely recognizable. Because we know that Bach used the parody process for at least a quarter of the music that he wrote, this has inspired a lot of people to create something called New Bach. And that is what I am doing with the Bach Cello Suite 7 through 12. I'm using themes and motives from cantatas and using this Bach Cello Suites that he has written as a template kind of to insert these themes and embellish and invent upon them and create a work that is entirely my own so that I don't really have to worry about being entirely authentic or worrying about what Bach would have thought because this is not Bach, this is my work. Since it's raining, let's start with something in the happy key of F major. I'm gonna take one of my favorite cantatas, BWV 194, and use the 10th aria to make a minuet. So the opening of this cantata goes like this. <laughs> Now, there are two oboes, two voices, and continuo represented here. And I only have a cello, so I'm going to add some bass voices. Still not quite enough, so I'm going to try filling it in a little bit. Now for the second minuet, I'm going to take something from the B section of this aria. Now, same thing. I'm going to add some bass notes and some fillers and I'll be good to go. Now I'm going to take these two melodies that I just played and use them to inspire the rest of the minuet. Thank you. 
There's no way of knowing exactly how much music has been lost because it is lost. But we do have his son CPE's writings talking about pieces that he wrote that we don't currently have. So that gives us some idea how much we're actually missing. For example, we know that he wrote a St. Mark's Passion, but we don't have the St. Mark's Passion. So a lot of different performers and musicologists have attempted to reconstruct that piece through this parody process, through taking other cantatas and putting it into kind of a, a passion setting. But when you use the word reconstruction, it comes with some sort of promise that it is Bach's music and you're gonna hear Bach when that is not possible. This is why I've decided to kind of go away from this idea of uh, reconstruction and just simply call it how it is and decide to compose new music. Bach liked to write things in sets of six. He wrote six cello suites and each suite has six movements. There is no proof that he wrote cello suites seven through twelve, but if we use the parody process, you can create more cello suites. The first six were so great, why not do another grouping of six? I hope that lots of people choose to do something like this. I think especially today, we're all a bit tired of hearing the same dead white guys in concerts over and over again. And I really want to advocate for this creation of new Bach because it basically means that nobody is tied to this concept of authenticity. The creation of new Bach is important because it takes people from all different walks of life and brings them together through a shared passion for the music of Bach. Thank mm -hmm. you.